We talk about partnership, unity, sponsorship, collaboration, co-development, co-promotion. But all these sort of words actually fall under the umbrella of what we call friendship. And so it's almost like team cue or, or collective cue. Obviously, six sides. Um, it has symbols on each side, and we teach the symbols in our group. The six symbols on each cube. Um, remember, the symbols rotate and combine. Uh, this is what the alphabet looks like, A through Z, and it's organized phonetically. So, cube code community, uh, friendship cube group. Um, of course, the more you learn, the more you earn. is that your eye can recognize the symbol. So it's not just your computer, now you understand it. It's just looking like, a, at, uh, it's just like looking at a Japanese character or a Chinese character. You know what it, it has a meaning, right? Here's a really detailed example of visual binary code um, that explains in, in a two-bit code, it's either, in a one-bit code, it's either on or off, and that makes two. In a two-bit code, it's 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1. And so there's four possibilities, and each, uh, each additional layer of possibilities uh, doubles uh, the potential permutations. But there's also new technologies called the Emotive Epoch. It's an EEG neural signal acquisition device. So we shed the need for the uh, keyboard, we shed the need for the uh, mouse, and, the, and our mind becomes the new graphic user interface. We've also got a prototype keyboard uh, that has concentric rings organized with the 22 symbols. Um, we call it a quick texting app, but the idea is that you could put a quick texting app on your smartphone smartwatch as well as your smartphone. And it can actually give advantages to the geeks that think this way, right? right. Um, yeah, so like uh, friendship cube group can really teach moral lessons and, and help people to overcome uh, bullying and, and in schools and make it so it's safe be safe and have fun, right? And place your own friendship cubes.